What's up everybody, Lou Vega Superhome, your superhome.com. And today we're gonna to be coming to you with a very special video. We're gonna be talking about the five things to consider when choosing your security cameras. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we need to consider when choosing a security camera is going to be how we want to power this device. Now that might seem like really technical, but really it plays into a very simplified way of thinking about it. So the first thing is, are we gonna do this with a wire or are we gonna do this with a battery? Now battery's great, gives you a lot of flexibility, allows you to put it in different places in the house. So if you wanna move them later on, not a big deal, put it anywhere you want. The cons of that is now we have to charge that camera. Now, there are some solutions to that. You can just put it on yourself on a schedule where you know every two months, you're gonna go ahead and power this camera by plugging it in, taking it down, getting up on the ladder, plugging it in, running it overnight or running it for a handful of hours, depending on what kind of camera you have, and going back up on the ladder, putting it back up again, and you should be good to go. Aside from that, you're gonna have another way to do it. And what is that? Solar power. So solar is great. It gives you the power of the sun. It allows you to not have to get up on the ladder every two or three months to charge your cameras. The solar isn't always perfect. And it may seem like, okay, well, as long as it's a sunny day or it's in a great field of view for the sun, I should be fine. Well, again, it comes down to how often this camera is being triggered. It may not be enough for the solar trickle charge to keep the camera going. You have to try to figure out, okay, well, how busy is this area? If it's super busy and it's always gonna be triggered, there's always gonna be an event happening, you might wanna go with a wired camera. So one of the great things about wired cameras is that it gives the, the consistent power to the camera, to the device. Usually um, you'll have one of two ways. Either you're gonna power this camera using a uh, power line uh, that's connected to an outlet like transformer, or you're gonna power it over a two wire system. The third option is you're gonna power it over ethernet or PoE. Now what's great about that is it's one single wire and it allows you to charge your camera from one line directly to the recorder. So one of the, the cons of it is you have to fish these wires. How are you gonna get these wires behind the wall? Now, if you're doing a brand new renovation, this is the best time to do it. And this is when we can kind of come in and help you plan out exactly where things have to go, or we can do it for you. And um, this gives you the most flexibility and uh, it's really the best option. If you can't do that, then you have to hire a professional. If you think you can do it yourself, that's great. You're super handy, go for it. But most people are not capable of knowing how to fish wire and get it into the right place. So uh, we can help you with that. All right, so the second thing we need to consider when choosing our security cameras is the viewing angle or field of view. All right, so most of the cameras that you'll find in your consumer market at Best Buy and Target and Amazon and things like that will traditionally have a wide angle or a wide field of view. Now this is great for certain areas where you don't wanna put multiple cameras, you wanna have just one camera or you can only put one camera to pick up most of the things that you'll need. That's great. There are some cons to that. Sometimes the image isn't as crisp, uh, depending on the time of day, particularly low light situations. The wider an angle cameras don't usually do so good um, in those conditions, even using infrared. But they're great because you can just throw it up in the front of your house and it will pretty much pick up most of the area. Sometimes we have to add a wedge or some, some type of angled bracket in order to get the best uh, field of view. But generally, especially video doorbells, um, some of the other smart cameras out there um, that you'll find at you know, your, your local electric electronic store um, usually have a wider angle of field of view, but with that again comes some compromise in your, uh, your quality. But secondly, uh, you'll find that some of the more professional cameras, you can actually pick and choose. You can have some that are wide angle and some that are a little bit closer. Uh, they're usually measured in millimeter. Uh, so 2.8 millimeter is your pretty much your standard uh, field of view. And they have four millimeter cameras, which is a little bit more cropped in, um, but it gives you a little bit more detail. And the more for professional cameras, usually will give you some more fine tuning around the quality of the image and how you can uh, absorb that image into your uh, recording your device, either through a a network video recorder, digital video recorder, or an SD card, for example. Okay, so the third thing that we need to consider when choosing our security cameras is going to be the recording options. Now, now we have a lot of different scenarios for this. We have cloud recording, which means that the footage, when it's absorbed by the camera, it goes up to the internet and gets stored on a server somewhere that you can retrieve later. Uh, we have local recording to either an SD card, a memory card, or a micro SD card. 
uh, which allows the camera to record locally and store that footage on itself. And you can still obviously access that remotely. Uh, or we'll have something like a network video recorder or a digital video recorder, which is a box that has a hard drive inside. It's basically a little computer, but it takes all of the footage from your cameras, funnels it all down to one place, and then uh, allows you to have uh, storage there locally. Again, you can access this remotely as well, but the footage is contained locally. Now, there are times where uh, local storage is great. It's actually really easy to view on remotely or on the go. Um, but if something should happen to that recorder, the same thing should something happen to a memory card, you run the risk of losing that footage. So we usually like to combine both using a memory card and some type of cloud option when possible to make sure that uh, you have your footage and you can keep all the events and anything that might be happening nefarious around your area that you always have access to that footage at all times. So um, many different ways to do that. Again, we have cloud, we have local recording through micro SD, or we have a uh, digital video recorder, network video recorder, uh, where you can uh, store everything on your hard drive and hey, get access to it anytime you want. All right, now the fourth thing that we need to consider when choosing a security camera are the features. There's so many features out there, right? There's so many different types of cameras from the consumer market to the professional market. What you need to do is try to figure out, okay, how is this going to fit into my lifestyle and what features do I need in my home? Super Home here is here to help you with that because there are really so many features out there from pet detection to vehicle detection, person detection, package detection. There are cameras that are wide angle. There are cameras that uh, have different types of analytics uh, and do different things. And so you, it's really hard to kind of narrow it down sometimes because you're always looking for the best integrations with the best reliable hardware to give you all the best features that you need. So really we have to figure out, okay, what kind of camera system is gonna fit the, your specific needs and we custom tailor those to your needs. All right, and the fifth thing, the fifth thing that you need to consider when choosing your security camera is the price. All right, biggest thing I always get, well, hey, I don't wanna spend a lot of money or hey, you know, I don't wanna spend too little because I wanna make sure I have the right support there and it's a big consideration I get it believe me so one of the biggest things to consider uh, with price is what type of market are you trying to be in consumer something available Best Buy maybe prosumer maybe something that you can buy uh, you know still at one of these electronic stores but is at a higher tier maybe has more features robust build quality um, the actual build quality on the hardware itself, uh, metal versus plastic, for example. Sometimes there's a blend between the consumer market and the, and the professional market in terms of price. You may actually spend just as much money on a consumer product because it's jam packed with a whole bunch of other stuff that maybe is not necessary for the business. So why pick a camera that's jam packed with all these smart features if it's really not needed, right? If you don't really need it for your for your situation. So uh, the best thing to do is to uh, talk to somebody like myself and the folks at Superhome to help you narrow down, okay, well, what is it really that you need and then help steer you in the right direction in terms of the actual build quality and, the, and uh, again, the feature set that each camera has. That's gonna significantly determine the price because we may actually be able to save you some money by steering you down a different path versus trying to go with a whole bunch of stuff that is not necessary for your needs. So that's it guys. Those are the five things to consider when trying to choose a security camera. I'm your host today, Lou Vega from Superhome, your superhome.com. Of course, if you have any questions at all, make sure to hit us up on Instagram, hit us up on the website, yoursuperhome.com. You can reach us by email and social media, and we'll be happy to help you build your next system to make your home a super home. Thanks so much, guys, for listening, and we will talk to you soon. Have a great day.